Hello everyone. Welcome to a playthrough of Catherine Full Body. There's gonna be butts. Just a warning. What a way to start a game, right? <laughs> um, so... This is Catherine Full Body. Catherine Classic came out years ago. And, uh, I actually have it, so... I love this game. This is one of my favorite games, like, of all time. I don't know why. I I remember seeing the trailer for it, and I immediately was like, I need that game. And then I played it, and I was like, I love this game. <laughs> and I have, I've been trying to show it to, like, everyone. Um, and then I got Full Body, which has amazing cover work for the, uh, for the disc thingy. I, I want to call it, like, a disc jacket, but I don't know what you actually call it. Case? <laughs> um... Anyways, yeah, this is this is Catherine Full Body. It's great. The only real difference between Catherine Classic and Catherine Full Body is in Catherine Classic, you have the original music. In Catherine Full Body, you have remixed versions of the original music for a lot of it. Um, and also, Catherine Classic, there's only Catherine, the lady that's in the front right here wearing black, and the lady that's in the back wearing white. You have both of those Catherines. In Catherine Full Body, you also have Girl with Pink Hair, who is Rin. Catherine. They're all Catherine. Enjoy the story by taking control of our tormented main character and guiding him to freedom. Will do. Continue so, no, new game. Simple night. Easy remix. Do it. Very well. There's Rin. Hi! Enjoy the world of Catherine Full Body in comfort. <laughs> Love you, Rin. We're gonna go after Rin this time. So... This is a romance horror game, um, where it has aspects of, like, puzzle game stuff and, uh, simulation-ish kind of stuff where you're trying to romance the ladies, you can text them, you sit at a bar and you drink and talk with your friends, and as Vincent, you contemplate what you want in life, because he has no fucking idea. He just wants to do the easy road, so... Hopefully this is actually synced this time. I've already tried to record this a couple times, and each time the the sound was, like, not synced up for some reason, so I, I think I fixed it. I hope I fixed it. If not, I'm just gonna go through with the first episode being desynced. Because I'm tired of this. Oh, Midnight Venus looks a little different in the first one, too. Full-bodied wine is the best. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> when the night sky fills with glamour, a lovely story awaits you. Uh, it seems synced now. Evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse special feature. Do I see some new faces? No. Once again, well, your maybe. guide for the night is me. The Midnight Venus, Trisha. Have you heard I love about her. this? Scary rumor. They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die in real life. Tonight's story is Catherine Full Body, the second coming of an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain curse has a terrifying and dramatic week. Oh, does that sound familiar? <laughs> well, like I said. Also that bottle Catherine, back there, but the white one. Fuller body. It's aged nicely. It's got her on it. Flavor, not unlike and it says mutton one. eater. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He is an earnest and kind man. But one day we begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. Amidst the storm of temptations around him, he has another chance encounter. And an awfully cute one at that. But doesn't this seem a little... <laughs> convenient? Oh my, sounds like a recipe for disaster. Will Vincent be able to overcome the massive blocks in his life? Perhaps. He'll take a road less traveled. <laughs> His outcome 
depends on you, viewers. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtains. It's time to savor the marriage of pleasure and pain. Now enjoy the show until we meet again. Anyways, that bottle being her on there and saying mutton eater, if you know this story, I think that's kind of interesting. I'm going to try and do this as spoiler-free as possible. So there's three Catherines we can pursue romantically. I am going for Rin, this lovely lady here. Because I love Rin. And also, she's not in classic, so... God, I love her, though. She's my favorite. <laughs> It's not awkward at all. <laughs> I forgot to mention, this game gets a little horny. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> There's- it's- it's definitely not for children, in case you couldn't tell by the title screen. Um... There are- there are pictures that if you romance them well enough, they're a little- they're- they're not nudes, but they're like scantily clad ladies, so... Just be warned, this is- this is a more adult game, but it's not like- It's not like a porn game, you know what I mean? But it's definitely not for kids. <laughs> it just has more adult themes in it, I think. Or not themes, but things. It's so funny though, and spooky. I love this game. I do like that one. They remixed that song too. That was the remix version. The OG one is really nice too. But I do I do like the remixed version and like what they did with the opening sequence. So the opening sequence is all new. Cause in classic it's totally different. Like I like the changes that they made for a lot of it. Also, I'm pretty sure... I always forget his name. The guy that plays Vincent, I think, is the same guy that plays Joel in The Last of Us. I think it's the same voice actor. Which I learned about, like, way later, and I was like, ah. <laughs> so this is the tutorial stage. And climb. Who are you? Where is this place? Save your breath and start climbing. If you fall, you're dead. I'll die. Are you fucking serious? There's no time limit on easy difficulty, so the ground below will not fall. Oh, really? You have plenty of time to think about your next move. Have I been playing this on normal? Whoa, I didn't know that. Is this my first time playing this on easy? Move the blocks to make a path. You can climb one block at a time, right? How am I supposed to move these things? You can grab onto a block with the X button and move it with the directional buttons. Some blocks can be moved, while others cannot. So be sure to experiment. If you make a mistake moving a block, you can press the L1 button to undo it. Moreover, on easy difficulty, you can use autoplay to climb cool. automatically. Wow. If you can't figure out how to proceed, 
Press the R1 button to enable autoplay. Oh, poor Vincent's shaking in the back there. I didn't know that. I maybe I've never played this on easy before. Because I've always had it on whatever mode makes the blocks below you fall. In remix mode. You'll encounter combination blocks. Yeah, dude. By moving a large block like this as a single unit, you can advance more quickly. I don't mind playing it on easy mode, though. Edge. Edge. Although the stress is definitely taken out of it, but that's kind of why I don't mind it. <laughs> um. Because, like, it does get really stressful when you, um... These blocks aren't normal. They'll lock into place and support your weight, even if they're only touching by their edges. What's that supposed to mean? They connect at the edges. Even if a block has nothing directly under it, as long as it's touching an edge of another block, it won't fall down. Connecting blocks at their edges to make stairs is the key to successfully scaling the tower. Strive for the goal by creating a path step by step. Will do. I have the soundtrack in my car this? too. What is this ringing? If we both make it out of here alive, we'll meet again. Hey, hey, oh yes, we will. When you hear the bell ringing, you'll know that you've almost reached the goal. Refer to the map located on the left side of the screen to see how much further you have to go. Chugari. It's so weird not having the blocks falling. Sorry, that's just like blowing my mind. I don't. I could have sworn I played this on easy, but I guess not, because I've always had the blocks falling beneath me. It's so stressful. Get out through here. I've never had this game not be stressful, <laughs> but it's fun. It's fun puzzle stress. And horror. There's the horror. Oh, shit. Woohoo! I survived. Oh my gosh, look at all that money. That was an impressive escape from the reborn underground cemetery. Sweet. Now, a new game is about to begin. I'll be sure to prepare something extra special for you behind the next door. Let's meet again tomorrow night. I look forward to it. Me too. I love this game. Also, Midnight Venus does look different in classic. She's got one big ol' afro rather than two little, uh, like, pigtail afros. And she's wearing something slightly different, like, darker, I think. With a higher collar. I think she's got, like, a popped-up collar kind of thing happening. Oh, what a terrible dream. But she's gorgeous either way. I love Midnight Venus Trisha. She's awesome. Uh, hello? But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be in today's code review meeting. Really? No, no, I'm just, uh, just a little under the weather. No, no, it's okay. I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, this part always confused sorry. me. Because, like, he goes in, starts the shower, but he put on his shirt beforehand, and I'm like, if you're gonna be taking a shower, why would you put on your shirt before you take the shower? Why not just leave it off? Hey, where'd you go? Snap out of no. it! Were you even listening? Uh... Sure. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything alright? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. 
So, are you getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything. <sighs> wow, dude. Uh. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like... where you're in danger? No. No, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No. I usually do the killing in my dreams. Huh? <laughs> well, that sounds like you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? So long, I can't remember. Hmm. That's not good. How many years? I'm asking you. It's just my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but. Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but. I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose. Also, yeah, this first episode is going to be a lot of just watching what's happening. It's a lot of exposition. And in other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been ruled out. Hey, change it! The Chief match is on! Oh, no, two beers over here! Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, though. Feather's totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? I know what do you think. So? Who are you betting on? Come on, pick one! You kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know. <sighs> Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it mean? I've known you since we were kids, but wow, you. Married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I, mean, I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. I mean, you know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides... <laughs> You're single too. This part's hey, also confusing. I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying. He's single, but he's got a girl. What if you never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. So what? That sounds just like you, Chief. Rin. Oh, how'd the interview go? <laughs> the boss seems like a really nice person. He said I could work here starting tomorrow. So everything's cool with you now? Mm-hmm. Oh, way better. Hey, did old boss make any weird moves? Hey, Rin, come here! Uh, I'll see you later. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Paul? Wait, that Paul? He's dead? Yeah, I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? It's Martha by herself? Know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his that room. That corner there? Only one lady. This morning. Wait, you mean... Yeah. The mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit! No way! <laughs> Maybe we'll all wind up dead tomorrow, too. I love Toby. Shut the hell up. 
Man, I hate the news. They're always trying to push their agenda for ratings. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. What? Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> I had a really scary dream. And I don't remember what it was about. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, all right? That's so weird to think about. Oh, where are you guys going? Stick around. I I don't want to go home just yet. So, why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, I honestly I don't know. Be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? All right. Take care, Vince. See you later. Bye, Tobes. It's just so weird to think how, like, the first time that I played this game, I was, like, 17, 18, maybe 19 at the oldest. I don't remember exactly. And now I'm a year younger than him. That's so weird. Okay, I was, like, a decade uh, younger than him. <laughs> so, she managed to get the job, huh? Of course. I can't just abandon someone with amnesia, especially when they seem like such a good kid. And like Johnny said... There's this innocent cluelessness to Rin that oh, I just can't help caring about. Not to mention the whole stalker thing. Who would do that and why? Seems like even she doesn't know. Now how could that be? You should find out. <gasps> Rin! You know? Yeah, I think so. I wanted to say thanks. Not just for saving me, but... Also for finding me a job and a place to stay. No problem. I'm so scared. I couldn't remember anything. I'm so glad I met someone as nice as you, Vincent. Yeah, it was nothing really. Anyone would have done the same. Still, you saved me, Vincent. I start with Oh, she she was blushing. I'll do my best to show you my appreciation. You're so cute. Well, you got him. I have a text. From time to time, you'll receive texts at the bar. You can respond to some of them. Give it a try. Will do. Ah. Okay. Catherine. So you can tell who's which Catherine it is, not just by reading the from, but like just from the size and stuff that the sounds that they make <laughs> when you open the text message, it tells you which Catherine it is. So this is our girlfriend, Catherine with the K, that we met in the cafe. Like I said before, I'm having dinner with some old friends. It's surprising, most of them are already married and almost half of them have kids. They're all showing off their pictures of families, sorry, of their families and it makes me feel left out. Maybe it's time for us to get out of our comfort zone too. <sighs> so, this is partially where you can like influence how you want to be perceived by all the ladies in your life. I'm gonna be a dick to everyone but Rin, basically. Like a massive dick because I I want to be with Rin in this playthrough. If you guys want to see me be with either Catherine with a K or Catherine with a C, let me know and I will totally replay through these games because <laughs> I love this game. I can even do Catherine Classic with the other two if you guys want to see the classic version instead. Um, but we're going for Rin this time, so. Uh, what if I do Sorry I Can't Think right now? important to be comfortable in life? No. I don't like these. I want to be a dick. You're overthinking it. Gaslighter. <laughs> it's so mean. Um, let's not think about this now, maybe? Next. Nah. We don't need to be tied down. It'll just stress you out more. Later! Yeah, let's do it. When certain words and actions change Vincent's inner ideas, a meter will be shown. Vincent's words and actions will affect the story. Remember it. 
I can also do a playthrough of this. Like, I can play through this game so many times if you guys want me to. I, I've played through it. This is like 15 times now that I've played this game or something. I love this game. I get, I usually, when I play it, I just answer everyone honestly, like how I'm feeling at the moment. Um, and just let, like, see where, what happens, where the game goes. Hey. But I do want to get Rin this time, so together. we're going to be mean to everyone else. Marriage, huh? Figured this would happen eventually, but just change jobs. I don't want to give her trouble. Excuses. <sighs> you just need to have a chat, like a nice open chat. Also, this might be a bit right now. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's better. It's better lighting. My hair is fucking crazy right now. Whatever. <laughs> Are you out drinking at the Stray Sheep again? You know you have work tomorrow. Jeez, take it easy, okay? By the way, I received a photo that was taken at the party we went to after the wedding the other day. It's of me being forced to entertain the crowd, but it does bring back some old memories. That's the other thing. So in this one, you do get like some new pictures and cutscenes that were not in the classic version. Um, like this one. It's cute. I don't I don't remember this being in the classic one. Also, really weird, I think, that like you're at a wedding or the party after the wedding. And then they're all like, hey, do you have your old cheerleading outfit? Or I have my old cheerleading outfit. You should totally wear it. I don't know, that's kind of weird, but it is what it is. So yeah, they'll they can send you some slightly raunchy photos if you're nice to them. Um, you look like you're under duress. Let's be mean. Don't you think you're getting too excited? Oh my god, he's so mean. See ya. <laughs> so mean. I feel so bad sending okay. these. Oh, it's so he's so mean. Oh god, I hate it. I mean, like, Ugh. I'm never mean. I'm never this mean to them. Like going home today. Except for Catherine with a C. She's. Oh. I'm. A, I'm okay being kind of mean to her. It's Catherine. <laughs> uh, let it ring. Oh, sorry. But, well, whatever. <laughs> oh my God, Vincent! Like, you can make him into an absolute dick. Would you like to save your progress? Yeah, save it. Uh, we're gonna save over that one. That was the one that I first played. And, uh, the audio is not syncing up, and then I fixed it. That was that one. Well, there's a lot of people here, but this isn't really my crowd. There's the third Catherine. I'm sorry, miss. Oh, are you Let's go ahead. Oh, and he drunk. You got that little blush happening. Uh, hi. Excuse me. Mind if I sit here? Nightmare time! Right? Yes. So, you've met some new faces. That poor lost soul is particularly intriguing. You'll find there are many lost sheep in the prison of despair. <laughs> This is connected online, so I can see how many people are dying and stuff. <laughs> and also their choices, because choices really matter in this game. Last night's dream? Again? What the hell? I was at the bar and this girl came in and then... Damn, I can't remember. What is going on? Who knows, bro? <laughs> You the new guy from last night? Boys, you're that guy from yesterday. 
Listen, watch out for the cracked blocks. They'll break after you step on them. Really? Many blocks have unique characteristics, such as cracked blocks and immovable blocks. And explosive blocks. Whenever you see a new block, proceed And blocks caution. that try to eat you. Um... Yeah, sure, we'll go up here. Alright, alright, I got it. Uh, let's get that gold. That gold dough. It's a really useful technique. If you can't find a clear path to walk, try looking for a new path along the edge. You'll drop down to the edge whenever you run out of footing while dragging a block. By crawling along those edges, you may be able to reach areas that couldn't be accessed on foot. This I know. I got it. All right, I got it. I see you're still alive and kicking. If you can't see ahead of you, try looking around. Even without dragging a block, you can easily hang down by running off a ledge where there is no step down. This technique is vital to your success. Be sure to get comfortable with it. He's not lying. You definitely got to use all these techniques. They for sure these come in handy. Mystic pillow will grant you an additional undo until you reach the goal. Gather as many as you can. I'm okay for now. I'm gonna get out of here. Right. Right, got it. Got it. Right, got Actually, it. do I want to go this way? <laughs> go this way. All right, all right. You've come pretty far. Good job. Thanks. I'll see you at the landing. Everybody else is there too. Who's everyone? Everyone, bro. Hey, wait a sec. Once you have crossed a checkpoint, you can retry from that spot. Be sure to run through it whenever you see one. Tugati. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Just gonna do it this way. I don't really care about getting the gold that much. I don't buy too many things. But the gold isn't that important to me. Plus, I feel like you usually have more than enough gold with all the bonus and everything that you get. Like, it'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! Looks like that butt dough. Who are you? A sheep? Do I look like a sheep? You're the sheep. Everybody hears the sheep but me. <laughs> I don't recognize that voice. Who are you? Where the hell is this place? Wish I knew. One thing's for certain, though. If we don't run, we're going to be killed. Killed? If you see this place once, it's all over. You'll keep coming back every night. Every night? You're kidding me. <laughs> we all have the same fate here. If you don't want to die, You've got to climb. So if I climb, I'll be saved? There's no guarantee. But take a look at that. See that bell? It's like a church or something. A church? If we can reach the top, there may be a way to escape. So there is a way out. Like I said, there's no guarantee. But we've got to believe. It keeps us sane. Believe it! Panic die first. <laughs> Just qu quit with all the dying stuff. I I'll do whatever you say. Just... Just help me. Look, from here on out, I'm afraid you're on your own. I'm yep. going now. No, 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 no wait. Bye. You hurry too. Hey, hey, we'll see him again. Serious. You can save in the notebook and talk with other sheep on the land. Go on, talk to them. When the icon is pink, you can talk to them. It grays out once they have nothing more to say. Ah, so sorry. Hello. <laughs> He's having a jolly old time. Okay. Keep it together, man. You're quite virtuous, however, to be concerned about someone other than yourself, given our present circumstances. I'm going to reward you with an oil field. <laughs> an oil field. Ah, my usual habit. Yeah, you do meet some characters here. Hurry up. Die if we stay here. 
<laughs> what up, dude? Everyone dies eventually. You're not wrong. Depends. Depends on how you die. Because you could die sooner, but have a really, really, really terrible, painful, long death. Or you can buy much... Well, buy. You can die much later and have it be, like, really quick, so... Time doesn't matter. It's... Like, when when it happens doesn't matter. How long it happens is what matters. What are those cages? Why are there sheep in them? I've had it. Get me out of here! You kind of sound like, like, uh, like Shaggy. Sorry, I'm yawning so much. I'm a little sleepy today. Rude. Alright, I'll kick you off. So the dudes in the clothes are like the important ones. You you meet all of these different sheep, they teach you techniques, but you also have to like try and keep their hope alive. I've never been able to save all of them. Discussing techniques. They're the key to survival. So maybe this will be you want me to teach you the technique I found? Sure. Let's do it. Alright. Remember, this is Todd's technique. Allow me to explain the pyramid. You just make a pyramid. I don't know. It's fine. I already know them. I think that might be tough by itself. Consider using this one too. Allow me to pull out to remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. You're a genius. How was that? But you didn't know. I knew it. But I'll say I didn't know. Well, anyway, what I want to say is this: if you're relying on luck to keep you alive, it's all over. I know. My reporter's instincts are telling me this dangerous form of free climbing has some techniques hidden within it. There are many techniques to discover. I guess the key is to find as many as we can. All right. If you find anything, you tell me, okay? That's in order. I don't even know if it's possible to save all of them. Is it? I'm not sure. So th these sheep, they're people that you meet in the bar. And you have to talk to them here and in the bar. And how you talk to them depend like is whether or not they survive is dependent on the way that you talk to them basically there's someone in there right why don't you take a seat i love him mysterious hey, voice long time no see or rather nice to see you here and welcome to the confessional who are you this is the world of nightmares i guess you could call me its supervisor I sense a force of change rising up. What exactly happened in the other world? I guess it doesn't matter. You lambs are all destined to die here anyway. What? Don't be ridiculous. But before I kill you, I want to determine the value of your life. So you'll have to answer some questions. Question one. What expectations do you have for your significant other? Pull the rope with the answer that best matches your true feelings. Will do. Uh, good personality. I'm definitely of of the the type of people where like you can be physically so freaking attractive, but if you're an asshole, immediately you're ugly as fuck. <laughs> Whereas just the opposite can happen. I might not find you physically appealing Someone but if i get to know, know you and you're like an amazing person then you are probably you, you become like so beautiful for me think. to learn the truth you must survive then you can think about what's going on here let's head to the next trial but i'm also really weird because i think like a lot of humans are like not attractive <laughs> but then when i get to know people i'm like wow you're suddenly very attractive now that i now that i know you so, I don't know. I'm a little weirdo like that. Oh, I guess I'm not that much of a little weirdo. <laughs> a lot of people prefer the good personality. What is what is this? Men only. 20s and 30s. Women only. Oh, wow. Interesting. Interesting results. 246 deaths. Damn, son. They must be playing it on hard mode. There's still more? I could never. Hard mode is like legit so hard. I've I've tried to play it before and I was like, there's no fucking way. I am neither fast nor smart enough to do it on hard mode. Are you getting the hang of this? I thought you were gone. How the fuck am I supposed to get the hang of this? 
Magic. Hey, don't run up ahead. Help me. No. Sorry, man, but I'm not going to die helping you. I've got to climb too. Oh yeah. As you climb, you'll run into strange items. Strange items? I don't know what you're talking about. I'll try to remember it for later. You can only carry one item at a time, but each one has a very useful purpose. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about using an item at the wrong time. If you regret it, you can always undo. Yeah. Except I have zero undos right now. A three by three platform will appear at your feet. This one's really good. This enables you to create footing even in tight spaces. Yeah, that one that one's actually really good. Um, okay, so Whoops. That's okay. Hmm. That does make it a little tough, don't it? It'll be fine. It's ringing. We're gonna get out of here. Gear ringing. I've seen others here and there. The fighting's gonna start getting fierce. <sighs> yeah. Dog eat dog world. There's no time for courtesy. It's a sheep eat sheep world, bro. No matter what pops up, stay calm and keep close. What the hell is this place? How high does this damn thing go? Really high. It goes much far. Many big. That poor sheep, he's freaking out. Boop. Boop. Nice. Perfect. I have a scopade. I wonder if you get like a bigger multiplier if you do it on a harder mode. Hmm. It's you. Looks like you're still alive. What up, dude? Is that you? You're safe too. Barely. Still. How many people died trying to come here? Probably a lot. I don't. Listen. Here, you see everybody else as sheep, but all these sheep. They're really human. There's got to be some reason why we were all brought here. What reason could there be? Why do we have to suffer like this? Who knows? But I do have an idea. An idea? Let's stop the speculation. It's just going to confuse us more. <sighs> you should think of what to do next. I'm hearing rumors of something big coming soon. You be careful now. Something big? Still. You're really getting the hang of things. There's nothing more I can teach you. That can't be true. Come on, you gotta have something you can tell me. If we're lucky, we'll meet again. Uh, hey, wait! Uh, great. At the landings, you can learn tips on how to block. Yep. Moving blocks around mindlessly won't work. New techniques will be done it did it already talked to some sheep hey what up sheep dude bruh no nothing let's make it out alive i'm not sure i feel about being encouraged by a sheep but i guess it's better than being a chef or even worse a kitchen hand huh it's a kitchen band i said hand you idiot kitchen hand like a cook pay attention oh sorry <laughs> Kitchen band. <laughs> Sorry for shouting, but you need to listen better. Yeah, Vincent. Jeez. <sighs> Alright, let's talk to you guys. Why does this reach? We found a landing of sorts here, so we should expect there to be other sets of stairs. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me we've got to go through this tomorrow. And the day after, and third time's the charm, right? Huh. I found this out. Isn't it like a week? Yo. We met before. You survived because of the techniques I found. Huh? Teach me something else. Let me show you another great technique. Allow me to explain. Suspend this tech. Push a yeah, 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 yeah. I already know. Regular... Hmm, that's a good start. Try to remember this one too. Allow me to explain. If you like. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. That's. Cool. You knew that. 
I didn't know. Um, well. Okay, if you find any new moves, you come straight to me. This is coming from the executive manager. I'll write down any techniques I discover. I recommend reading them from time to time. Okay. Bye. Time to go talk to uh, the dude whose name I'm trying to not spoil. Uh, hey. I told you, sit down first. I'm just gonna bug him all the time. It's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> he gets so moody. Next question. What do you value? I've had enough of this. A man's worth can't be measured by a single question. Not to mention, you have more than one path ahead of you. <laughs> this is the second question. Does life begin or end with marriage? <laughs> I feel like this is dependent on your partner. Honestly, I feel to me it's neither. But if you're marrying someone where you're like, oh, my life is going to be over if I have to marry this person, then you shouldn't be marrying them. So for me, if I ever did get married, it would begin, I guess. Even though for me it wouldn't begin, it would just so continue. <laughs> I see. This is There's no beginning or end with marriage for me. With eight floors. Wait, so does that mean there's an end to this? The world is in a state of flux. I won't be able to guarantee what your future holds. Be careful what you take for granted. I'm sure you've heard the stories of people losing such things. Something big is coming. I can feel it. Something the likes of which this world has never seen. <sighs> I guess there's no point in worrying about the It's future. me. You have more pressing matters to attend to. <laughs> Are you ready? Sure. I like that laugh. That's what the hell's going on? I love here? his laugh. It's silly. I think I'm going to try and fight the boss. Or maybe save just before. Let's see where, where are we on the map? Yeah, I think we're doing the boss next. Damn. Yeah, we're doing the boss. Okay. Wow, 16 people crushed to death. That sucks. You won't escape. I don't know. I what might. The voice. Where have I? I won't escape. Oh, what the hell is this? A nightmare, bruh. Those are her little thingies. It's the killer. Do not die. It's the killer. Do not die. Edge. Alright, I got it. This is handy for getting rid of them. Isn't it though? Whee! Okay. That one is pretty nice, and I might do it just because a lot of these are immovable um 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 yeah we're gonna do this get that real quick Whoosh. perfect oh shit um mm, undo sorry all right so we're gonna do this guy Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Whoops. Fuck. Undo. <laughs> Do that. Do this. Get this guy. No. What makes you think I'm having trouble, sir? Me have trouble? Never. <laughs> Okay. Boop. Is that like where other people died? Look at those hands, yo. I guess because the blocks never fall down, she's supposed to be trying to hit you with that fork. Any hoods. Um How's this? There we go. Boom. 
Beat the boss. First one's not that hard, though. Maybe I will switch modes. It is a lot more stressful when the blocks are falling down below you. Don't you run! Is it gone? He's gone. I'm safe, right? For now. Yeah. So happy. <laughs> I think I have to wait till I can open my cell phone again, though. This is probably gonna be like an hour-long episode. Woohoo! From the prison of despair was perfection indeed. Thank you. As promised. I have something special to show you tonight. A new cutscene. To long ago. Back to a time when you felt happy. Five years ago. So he Sorry was 27? I usually burn the bacon like that. It's all right. I don't mind it a little crispy. I can tell something's going on with you. You working too hard? <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> You've been gaining weight, haven't you? Can't forget to eat your veggies. He's so skinny. Well, I put ketchup on almost everything. <laughs> that doesn't count. You know what? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Maybe a little workout will burn out those extra calories. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna be like, get a room, but they're in a room. <laughs> Fond memories, huh? You should think long and hard. About what you have to lose. Let's okay. Do this again tomorrow. Here's the thing, though. Survive, that is. They were happy five years ago. The way that we saw them in the cafe, they seemed like so distant and cold, didn't they? And like, even when Johnny was like, "Oh, you should invite Catherine," he's like, "Nah, she'll get mad at me. She shouldn't even know I'm here." Sort of a thing. Uh oh. Uh -huh. That's new. <laughs> Not only that, but he's like, plus I already saw her today, so I don't need to see her anymore. And they've been together for years and they're not living together. You don't have to live with your partner, obviously, but like... Marriage is just a tradition, right? Seriously, who wants to be tied down? As long as two people are together, it's okay, right? It's supposed to be free, don't you think? Kind of surprising. Hmm? You know how it is with most girls. As soon as they're adults, all they can think about is tying the knot, right? No. But there are girls like you out there. <laughs> Never knew. Well, it's not that strange, is it? Men aren't the only ones who fear being chained down. I'll remember that. Dang, Vincent, you're smoking a lot right now. Thank goodness. Huh? We think alike. Whoa! <laughs> She's sneaky. Whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just love his reactions. Oh my god. What is it? Whoa! You you alright? Yeah, thank you. You're so kind. Uh, I was... Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, well, I uh, have to work tomorrow, so I need to get home. Oh, oh. I had fun tonight. Oh, oh. You must like what you see. <laughs> I'm not staring. You're a bad liar. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh. His reactions are so funny. <laughs> Oh, Lord, Vincent. You taste like smoke, <laughs> but I don't mind. Why, it tastes uh, gross. You don't say. <sighs> I'm sure some people like it, but... <sighs> I think smoke kisses taste the worst. Holy shit. Oh, man, this is not good. Mm -hmm. <gasps> <What> is <that? laughs> it's fucking oh, well, face, I'm sorry. Uh, it's so know. good. Hooking up after we just met. Jeez, what the hell am I saying? Hmm. Huh? Um, is this gonna be a problem? So, 
Okay, I cheated on Catherine. This is bad. This is really, really bad. It's super bad, bro. Make a move. She forced herself on me. Oh, fuck, man. I drank way too much. No excuses, bro. Uh, would you mind not staring at me like that? It's kind of creepy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Listen, I don't want you to get the wrong idea, okay? I don't just sleep around. I came here because I like you. Huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> so. It's like ah. Huh? Oh. <laughs> wow. Um, I can't quite explain it. Uh, oh my God, Vincent. Odd. Hmm? You see, this is my first time. Oh wow, I can't believe it. And I am really screwing this up right now. So then, it was love at first sight. Huh? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I'm really. You said you have to work, right? Work? Uh, I guess. Sorry, I uh, I gotta go now. I have a um a dentist appointment now. A dentist appointment. Yeah, dentists get angry if you're late too. Oh, I wanted to stay with you a little longer. I guess they'll have to wait until next time. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Hey, wait! I'm actually dating someone. Well, now he's in it. This is a mistake. A mistake. It's gotta be a mistake. Oh, Vincent Brooks. Ah, you this know sushi what? place looks so good. Me. You know how they say every guy has three hot streaks with the ladies in his life? This is your third. Is that a thing? Hot streaks? When the hell were the other two? When we were kids, you're the most popular with the girls. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> the second time you were in the zone was when you started dating Catherine. Although, uh, that's over if she finds out about this. <sighs> Crap, man. It's gonna be over either way, it doesn't matter. Kill me. That's what you're all scared about. As long as she doesn't find out you're safe, right? Just act like it never happened. I'm not like you. I can't just ignore this. Well then, why not switch it up? That way you won't hear any more marriage talk, right? All that stuff about soulmates and eternal love is bullshit. Married life sucks, man. You really want to go through the same shit I have. I'm it only sucks like if you marry you. the wrong I person. I don't want to sleep around. I just want life to stay the same. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. If you're gonna whine, you shouldn't have done it, dumbass. Well, no shit. I wish I could just live all carefree like you. Don't you realize there's nothing you can do, you schmuck? No matter how good you are to a woman, you never know if she'll stab you in the back. Oh, he's jaded. Well, if you're gonna ditch the new girl, hook me up. She's cute, right? You got a picture of her? Nice. No, I don't have her pick. She's not your type, anyway. Come on, how do you know that? Because she's my type. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am so fucked. Hey, yeah, you are. Have you heard the rumor about the dream where you're falling? Huh? Who cares? Come on, if you fall and die in the dream, you'll die in real life. You die in the game, My you die in real life. And almost died. Isn't that scary? Huh? How do you know? Were you able to see his dream? Hey, you all right, man? You don't look so hot. Uh, I guess I didn't really get much sleep last night. Obviously. <laughs> anyway, you're way too freaked <laughs> out about one night stand. Hey, I got you paying it. attention. Listen, man. I also really like this game because of the character development. Like the character development for all of hmm. the characters is really good. Oh, really? I figured one of you guys told her to sit with me. Uh, if this girl was cute, you'd definitely remember. You know, I gotta say, because of you, Derek, I never get a chance to date anyone. If I was a ladies' man, I wouldn't be here every night with you guys. Anyway, you dig the older chicks, don't you? 
Yeah, I want a woman who's, you know, mature, stern, has a nice pair of heels. Whoa, man. I like that creepy guy in horror movies who tries too hard to be noticed. Shut up! I'm not like that! What's wrong with, you know, having some adult fun with someone older than I am? Hmm. So, did I hear someone call for me? <laughs> oh, hey, Erica! I've got a nice pair of stiletto heels I know how to use. Oh my gosh! Oh, Erica. Okay, enough of that. So, have you guys <laughs> heard about the woman's wrath? They say it targets cheating men and kills them. Or not. Which is it? Wait, 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 what? What exactly is this woman's wrath? Oh, you don't need to worry about it. You only care about your girl, Vincent. Oh, what are you talking about? This guy totally needs to know. Cheating is pathetic. Go, Toby. I agree with Toby. Pathetic. I agree with all of you. Pathetic. Shut up and eat your peanuts. My eye. Huh? What? You're cheating. Weren't you talking about marriage? Why don't you say it louder? Seriously, stop yelling about cheating and shit. I, I think someone on Mars didn't quite hear you. Oh, that's low, Vincent. Lowest of the low. Don't call me that. Now you know. So just leave me alone. Well, well, come on, tell me about this girl. Oh my god, Erica. Oh god. She's like, I can't believe you're cheating. Spill all the beans. She's destined to be <laughs> cute. Cut that shit out. Are you kidding? Finding your soulmate is awesome. I'm totally jealous. You jackasses better not mention this to anyone outside the bar. I am serious. Dude, we know the drill. Say, have you heard? It seems that Boss was a bit of a player back in the day and broke more than his share of hearts. You see how he's wearing those tacky sunglasses indoors? They say he's using those to hide his face. <laughs> yeah, right. You're in hot water yourself, right? Maybe you should invest in some shades. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Shut up. I'm done fooling around. Oh, by the way, Rin's gonna play the piano here starting today. Woohoo! Go, Rin! Okay. Hello. Do you know where you are? Okay. Never mind that. Uh, how about a name? Uh, uh, Rin. Rin? Uh, that's a nice name. Uh, who is that, though? Godzilla. <laughs> Vincent's like. That? She apparently played terribly. Oh, don't say that. Rin's working really hard. Uh, Vincent? What did you think of my performance? Oh, it was, uh, great. Yeah, it was great. Really, uh, unique. Thank you so much. <laughs> I was hoping to play a little better than that, but... It'll get better. It'll be fine. But don't worry about it. No one gets things perfect the first time around. Unless you can blame it on nerves. Have to keep Be like, I'm super nervous. Yeah, if the bar doesn't go out of business by then. Toby. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. See ya. That was like such a masterful shot. He didn't even look. Well, he was just like, blink. He's perfect. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if she's that cute, who cares, right? <laughs> Jeez, bro. <sighs> What's up with you anyway? Saving some cute girl from a stalker in the streets? Sounds like a daytime soap opera. That stuff doesn't really happen. Well, it did, so give it a rest. Yeah, I was gonna say, does sometimes it does. girl really have amnesia? Erica, you took her to the doctor, right? Did they find anything? Not really. They think it's only temporary. 
But it must be hard when the only thing you remember is wanting to play piano. Hey, so are you two really neighbors now? Yeah, the last guy just happened to move out. You better keep your hands off her. Oh, shut up. It's not like that. I, I'm an old man over here. But you guys really came through for us. You know it. Having Rin work here was a great idea, huh? We have you guys and even a police officer as customers. Not to mention, public spaces are a lot safer if she's really being stalked by someone. Yeah. That's very true. And she's potentially got a friend right next to her, so. Spend some time at the bar. You can drink by pressing the square button. We're gonna get drunk. Get up by pressing the circle button. You can open menus with the options button. You can change the puzzle type and difficulty of the game and config. Should I? I don't know. Um, what we are gonna do though is we're gonna end this episode here. So I'm gonna save real quick. And we're gonna pick this back up and get super drunk in the next episode and then maybe do another nightmare mode thingy. Um, but yeah, that was Catherine. <laughs> it's it's a little weird playing this game in public because there's, like I said, it gets horny. <laughs> there's a lot of adult stuff in here. Um, but yeah, this is my favorite, like one of my favorite games. I freaking love this game. It's really good. And like I said, I love the the character development that happens. There's a lot of weird stuff that starts happening. All of all three Catherines have their secrets. Um, all your friends have something going on with them. A lot of stuff is not, like, not a lot of, not everything comes fully to light. So there's like a lot of theories for things too, but it, it's, it's stuff where it's like, it doesn't come to light, but it's interesting to think about it and to theorize about it. And it's not disappointing to not know, you know what I mean? It just makes it that much more interesting. It's that kind of thing. Uh, but anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you stayed for this whole thing, <laughs> um, I am going to be playing this. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, that was this episode. Thank you guys so much for joining and I will see you next time. Bye.